Back at my free Glasgow store, I now have a battle plan for revamping Jasbinder's home. Both her daughters need new beds, so I'm starting my campaign there. What we want is to have a canopy which goes up like that and comes over the ends of the bed. We want it to look like a sort of... This sounds very grand, but a kind of Napoleonic day bed. <laughs> so what I want to do is find something which acts as the, as the canopy. You know, on those beds, they have a little crown. The fabric kind of comes out of a little crown. We found our free material on Freegal. But it's worth going directly to fabric shops and curtain makers who may have remnants and offcuts to give away. So imagine that one bigger, okay. like, like this. Right, now fold this in half, so we sort of roughly know the halfway point. We would do something like that, so that the fabric came out of the top. And then, if you hold that there, the fabric would drape either side, either side of the bed. I, I think Mia will just be... Really? Yeah. She Is it her kind it's, of it's, thing? It's, it's her. Where Mia wants pretty, younger sister Abby needs practical. Children outgrowing their cabin beds is a perennial problem, so they're often going begging. Cutting down this one will make it seem more grown up and give Jasbinda a chance to hone her home improvement skills, something she's been keen to do since she's been on her own. I asked Jasbinda about her DIY skills and she said she had none. It's probably just confidence, actually. Yeah. You know, Set her up with get her going with something. Yeah, crash course in DIY. Fantastic. So if you don't mind, I'm going to take you completely out of your comfort zone and introduce you to some simple hand tools. It won't hurt you. Look, you just press the trigger, it spins. Yeah? Okay. Good solid furniture like this is brilliant for upcycling because it can be taken apart without damaging it. Let's start on that screw there. Okay. And the tip is to push, even though it's going to come out, okay. keep pushing as hard as you can. Go on. Do I keep pushing yeah. as it's coming yeah. out? So, well done, but the bad news is you've got four more to do, I'm afraid. Applying pressure stops the drill from slipping and damaging the screw head. Right, you did so well on the drill, I'm going to introduce you to a more dangerous tool. It's dual purpose. Saw and set square in one. So when we're marking this, we don't just have to guess and cut randomly, we can actually just butt that up, slide it up to the pencil line, and mark it off. OK. But if you just cut against the knuckle of your thumb, because it does sometimes bounce and jump up, and just really lightly... OK. OK? And that, that can't injure me, really, can it? Uh -huh. I hope not, because I'm looking at you as I'm doing <laughs> it. <laughs> and don't put any power into it until it's, it's in the groove. OK. Because once you're a couple of millimetres into it, at that point, it will stay there, yeah? What am I doing? This is your job. OK. That's great. OK. Yeah. Just keep going like that. The girl's shared bedroom was crying out for personality. Times two, actually. With decent beds and storage on the wish list. We've created a fun shared space, catering to the very different tastes of both sisters, starting with the pink canopy bed we made. On Abby's side, we've gone green with the cut-down bed from the store and we've rehomed an unwanted mirror. Abby has room to stash her stuff in my revamped chest of drawers and the bedside unit. On the pink side, Mia has still got her dressing table but it now features this vintage mirror adorned with lights and sparkles. The steps from the cabin bed make a perfect solid shelf unit for Mia's precious bits and pieces. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> wow. That is just... <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. This is really cool. Oh, and the green kind of chair. <sighs> Fantastic chair. <laughs> what do you think, Mia? I oh, like this lot. Just... Are you happy with it? Yeah. <laughs> it's very much your bed. I'm impressed. You're impressed? <sighs> I'm very glad to yeah. hear it. That's high praise indeed.